did somebody here call for the mobile nail tech? Oh, you did? Okay, perfect. Well, I have arrived. Sorry I'm a little bit late. The truck broke down on the way. Don't know what's wrong. Probably haven't got an oil change in 10,000 plus miles. But here I am. I'm here. I'm here. Have you been with us before? Okay, well, as you can see, this is the truck. This is the mobile nail truck. And I give the fastest, the fastest, the fastest manicures around. So what I'll do is just snip, 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 snip your nails down a little bit. Did it need to be cut? Let me see. Mm, those could use a little trim, just a little one. And then I'll also take my little wooden tool. Let me show you this right here. See this little stick? You put it under the nail and dig, 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 dig the dirt out. Me, if I do that, the only thing I'm digging is the pad that's securing my press-on nail to my nail. So I can't dig, 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 but I'll dig under yours. And then, after we do that, shoo, shoo, Give you a little file, smooth off those edges, and then we'll apply the polish. Do you know what color you would want? Gel? Like hair gel? What kind of gel? Gel polish? Um, I don't know what that is. We just have regular polish. We have like pink and blue and... There should be like red somewhere. There's this nude color. That'll probably look nice on you. You can choose from the bag. I think we'll probably just go ahead and get your nails prepped first. And then once we prep them, then we can go ahead and look through some colors. That bag has kind of just been collecting junk over the past couple of days. So, I don't know what all's in there. But okay, let me see here. Let me get this. What I'm gonna do, I don't have any alcohol to wipe off your hands, so I'm just gonna use some antibacterial hand spray. It does the same thing. Go ahead and put your hands right here on this little counter for me. Thank you. I'm gonna spritz, 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 okay? Should be good. Now let me see. I'm just gonna rub this pretty hard on your fingernails. Get a little bit more to really dry out your nails. The polish sticks better. Now, what I want to do is just take these little, what is that on there? Take these little nail cutters here. Do you like your nails to be round or straight across? Mm, well, I can't really give you the straight across because these are not the straight ones. These have a little curve to them. So, I can try to file them a little bit straighter for you, but they just have to do round because I'm not the best at filing straight. Okay? Makes sense? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and start. I'm just going to trim them down a little bit. I won't cut your cuticle underneath. Do you have the high skin underneath? Well, I only know because I have the high skin underneath. <laughs> and... I have nipped a couple people in the past because everyone just thinks that everyone's nail is the same and if they just clip them as short as possible down to the skin, it'll be fine. No, it's not fine. My nail is skin is there and you just cut it off and now it feels numb and disgusting. So I'm not going to do it to you, okay? I'm just going to give you a little snip. Let's go ahead and start. 
just like that much. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, it's fine if it just falls and lays on the counter here. And mixes with about a million other people's meals. I only sweep the van out. Or I could call it a truck, whatever you want to call it. I only sweep it out like once or twice a year. No point to keep it clean, it just gets dirty. Okay, last one right here. I'm just waiting for a piece to fly and hit me in the lip. Perfect. Usually that's what happens. I'll just be snip, snip, snipping away. And next thing you know, pfft. Right in the mouth. Alright, now that that's done, what I want to do is take this stick. This, I've used it on a lot of people. Let me see if it's still sharp on the edges. Sharp enough. I've probably used this stick specifically on maybe 20, 30 clients, but I always soak it in Dawn dish soap. So let me see. I'm just going to dig underneath. And this is just getting out all that dirt. What do you do for work? Your nails actually do have a lot of dirt. So why are your nails so dirty then? You don't wash your hands? Well, that's fine because it gives me work and makes me money, but personally could just never, ever walk around with nails dirty and dumpy like this. Sorry. It's just not cute. Not cute, not attractive. Gives the ick. You need nails like this. Now, what's under these, though? Well, that's a different story, but all that matters is that the mask that you see on the front here looks good. It's all a facade underneath. <laughs> Maybe you just need some press-ons, okay, babe? You want me to put some on? I don't think I have any. I just have the polish, though. Could run to the dollar store and get you a little cheap pair. Buckaroo. No? Okay. Polish will be fine. Alright, that should be good. I get rid of that. Now, let's give a quick file. Do I have a different file? This bag comes with me everywhere. I have my hair tie in here, or scrunchie. I also have a very old, what is this, after color conditioner box dye in one. Oh, here's, oops, here's actually a brand new, a brand new box of those wooden sticks that I was using for under your nails. I didn't know that I had any more, so I've just been using that last stick on everyone. I'll have to leave that out. What is this? A tampon? You need some lip gloss? Your lips look a little chapped. This is ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade 
fairy floss. Oh, I just remember the day I bought this years and years ago. It's gotta be at least five years old. Oh, a razor? Do you need a razor? No, let me just get what I need in here. We need this nail file. I thought I had a smaller one. I do, but it's at the bottom of the bag. We're just gonna leave it for now. Okay, as I push this hair back, let me file your nails. This again has been reused for mm, quite a few years, but again, I scrub it uh, bi-weekly with Dawn dish soap. You know Dawn, it gets cuts through grease, I'm sure it must cut through bacteria. That's why they use it on wildlife when they're covered in grease and oil. Poor babies. Okay, let's file. Can you see? You want them like that? Is that straight enough? That's kind of like crooked, but... Do you remember those lipstick shaped nails where it would be like up and then <laughs> you want that? That is not the vibe. Just do round. Okay, I'm good at doing round. Have you thought about what color you want yet? Maybe like a pink? Okay. And then let me see these last two fingers. Can you put your wrist kind of like that? Perfect. Last one. See, I like to be perfect. It looks pretty good. Now, um, I don't have one of the brushes that you use to dust it off, so... That should be good. Okay. Let's see what colors we have for you to choose from. What is this? Oh good. I have this little base coat here. Now, be forewarned, most of these polishes are from the Dollar Tree. And yeah, don't hate on it because they're actually extremely high quality. I'm a high maintenance woman. High maintenance business. I think I know what's best. Right? Of course. Oh good, we have a Insta Dry Top Coat. We'll need that so we can send you on your way soon. Looks like this might be our only option for pink. I know you said light pink. This is highlighter pink. It still has the word light in it. We have that shade, but then we also have this. Pretty much white, but it has the tiniest, tiniest little tiny hint of pink. So maybe that. But then if you just want to keep it nude, 
add the perfect shade. Taupe priority. Taupe. Taupe priority. That's a stupid name. Or we can do black like me. Black nails. Add the taupe. Taupe and the pink pur pink pursuit. What fingers? Um. So like me, we want to do taupe, taupe, pink pursuit, pink pursuit, taupe, taupe. Pink pursuit, taupe, pink pursuit, taupe. Yes? Let's do it. Taking first this base coat. Now, really, if I wanted the manicure to last super long, what I would do is just go ahead, take the nail file, and really rip up your nail bed. But I'm not going to do that. You don't need it to last that long, right? Just like a day. Oh, good enough. This is the base coat. So, the polish should stick. Maybe two days. Here we go. Let's just be. Ring finger. Just kind of slapping it on there. Middle finger. Pointer finger. And your thumb. Do you have nail polish remover in your house? Okay, good. I'm currently out. So if I do get a lot on your skin, Q-tip and nail polish remover will help. Sorry about that, friend. Pinky finger over here. Middle finger, or sorry, ring finger. Middle finger. Get a lot so I can get your pointer and thumb. Pointer. And your thumb. Good. Good, good, good. Does this say how long we're supposed to wait? No, it doesn't, so we must go immediately. We'll just do it quick, quick, quick. Each one of these will need about two coats. Sometimes two coats, though, makes it look a little rocky road, bumpy, lumpity, ick. So, let's just do one coat on you, okay? It might just be a little bit sparse, a little patchy. I'd rather patchy than bumpy, right? You agree? Okay. We'll do this one first. Mix up. Ah, should be good. Let's see. I'm just a little crusty on the edges is all. Just trying to see if the texture is right or if I should put like water in here. Let's just do it. Okay, let me see. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. All right, let me put this on the right fingers. Pinky. Ring. 
just got a little on your cuticle. So pretty. Thumb. Pretty good. Next hand, just move that one to the side. Like I said, um, I don't know what kind of gel you mean, but this is just regular polish. You gotta wait for it to dry. We put that insta-dry top coat on, give it three, four, five, fifteen minutes, it'll be dry. You don't need no light to cure it. Next. Oh, not my lip gloss. Does that look okay? It's still on, right? Yeah? Okay. Let's put it on. This one's gonna be thumb, ring, and pinky. Pinky. Let's do ring. And pinky. Now let's get the next color. Pink Pursuit. Get that on. Hit you with the Insta Dry Top Coat. Oh, the harder you hit it, the better it works. You didn't know that? with the program. Perfect. That looks much better than the last. Okay. Let's see this hand first. We are doing pointer and a ring. Ring. Okay, now don't move. Don't mess that up. I have to be on my way. I have another client to get to. Don't have time to restart and I don't have nail polish remover. This hand we're doing thumb, ring, and pinky. Ring. And pinky. Good enough. Insta dry top coat so you and I can be both on our ways. Let's crack this open. Love the thick formula. Let's go. Pinky. Slap it away. Ring. I don't want to flood your cuticles too much. Sorry, I wasn't able to trim your cuticles. My cuticle nippers busted recently. Dropped them on the floor here, the truck. Turned around, stepped on them. I was wearing stilettos. <laughs> Snapped them in about ten pieces. 
I'll have to get to the store and get some new ones. Or just stop doing it. No reason to cut the cuticles. Don't like doing it anyway. Too hard. Other hand. Pinky. Ring. Middle. Pointer. And last but not least, the thumb. Get you out of here. Get me out of here. Perfect. That is all. Just give that a few to dry. Okay. Well, you already paid online, right? The ten bucks? Perfect. That is all I have for you today. You can go ahead, try not to touch anything, you'll mess up those lovely nails. But, um, I must go now because I'm already running late for my next client since I was running late to this appointment. So I gotta go, but, uh, I'll just spray some, like, cooking spray on there or some hairspray. Helps it dry faster. Put it in some ice water. Pull them out. They'll be dry. Dry. Okay? Thank you so much for calling my mobile nail shop. I cannot wait to see you again. Alright. Toodaloo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.